December 2012. Daigo Dojima, 6th chairman of the Tojo clan, visited Nagasugai, Fukuoka, to arrange an alliance with the Yamagasa family, the most prominent family in the Kyushu region. With rumors circulating that the 7th chairman of the Omi alliance was on his deathbed, it was imperative for Daigo to extend the hand of peace to the Yakuza organizations across Japan to mitigate the forthcoming power struggle of the Omi Alliance. But his visit served another purpose, to find Kazuma Kiryu, the legendary Yakuza who had disappeared. Kiryu had returned to Morning Glory, but had been forced to distance himself as Haruka Sawamura was scouted by an Osaka-based talent agency. Kiryu, as connected to Haruka as he was, could not let his criminal past come to light, or it would mean the death of Haruka's chances. Kiryu took up life in Nagasugai as Suzuki, a humble taxi driver, but after a brief ride in his cab, Daigo Dojima disappeared, and the Dragon of Dojima was once again thrust into the politics of the Yakuza. Meanwhile, Taiga Saijima, needing to clear his name of his previous crimes, turned himself in, and was incarcerated in a prison called Aburashiri. While there, he was the target of constant attempts on his life, but it was the news that Goro Majima, his sworn brother, had been killed that left him no choice but to break out once again. On the advice of Serizawa, an Osaka detective, Saijima headed for Kamurocho to learn the truth. As the Tojo clan began to stir, the Omi Alliance did as well, with two captains in a dead heat for the succession of the Omi throne, Masasaru Otase and Naoki Katsuya. The two men were ideological opposites. Watase was brash and ready for war, while Katsuya was quiet and calculating, with immense control of the entertainment industry in Osaka. But the apparent suicide of Mirai Park, the woman who had scouted Haruka Sawamura, cast a shadow over his influence. Haruka, who had been training for idol stardom under Park's watchful eyes, was devastated by her death. That's when Shun Akiyama arrived in Osaka, as he'd been the one to finance Park's talent agency. As the two worked to discover the truth, they became entangled in the conflict of the Yakuza. In Nagoya, Daigo Dojima suddenly resurfaced. Daigo's high school classmate, a former professional baseball player named Tatsuo Shinada, had been banned from the league after a gambling scandal not 15 years ago. Sensing a tie to the criminal underworld, Daigo asked Shinada to dig up the truth of his own past. Daigo had become aware that one Yakuza mastermind was pulling the strings behind the conflict in five cities. As if by fate, the trail led to Kamurocho, and Kiryu, Saijima, Shinada, Akiyama, and Haruka found themselves in the eye of the storm. The mastermind of the plot Daigo had suspected finally revealed himself. Tsubasa Kurosawa, 7th chairman of the Omi Alliance, who had been working in the shadows as Serizawa, the Osaka police officer. Kurosawa, who was dying of cancer, plotted to rid the world of legendary Yakuza like Kiryu, so that the reins of power and everything he built could be transferred successfully to his own son. Kurosawa had planted his agents in every organization across the country, and his schemes terrified even the most renowned Yakuza. As the conflict came to a head, Haruka began her first real concert at the Japan Dome, and unbeknownst to her, became part of a plot to target Kiryu with her assassination. As his friends fell around him, Kiryu headed to the Tojo clan headquarters, where he found Masato Aizawa, Kurosawa's son. Despite the lengths Kurosawa had gone to give Aizawa the world, Aizawa saw no value in any of it. Struggling to understand his own father's motives for leaving him such a legacy. But that doesn't stop him from accepting it. This father and son were responsible for untold tragedies to countless people, and Kiryu accepted the challenge of ending their power grab by becoming an insurmountable wall for Aizawa. Meanwhile, Haruka's concert sped toward its climax. As the fronds of cheering people filled every inch of the dome, Haruka believed firmly that the dreams of an idol were not hers alone, but those of everyone who had believed in her. 
A bright and shining future as a pop star awaited her at the end of the forthcoming song, at the cost of severing her ties to Kesima Kiryu. A path Haruka could not will herself to take. Kazuma Kiryu is family to me. The crowd fell silent, stunned by Haruka's words. With all eyes on her, Haruka ran from the stage she could now never return to. Not far away, a soft snow fell gently in the pools of blood trailing behind Kazuma Kiryu's bruised and beaten body. As his consciousness faded, a dream came to him. A dream of returning to his family. <laughs>